Good afternoon, everyone. So as a student in the immunology program, um, I'm focusing on inflammation, which is a nice segue from Doraitha's presentation. So even before we even begin, I would like everyone to take a deep breath. Deep breath in, let it out. One thing that we don't realize is that every minute we take approximately 16 breaths per minute, approximately 960 breaths in every hour, and around 23,000 breaths um, every day. And we do that without even thinking. But for patients with cystic fibrosis, each breath is met with undue discomfort and pain. And this is due in part to inflammation that develops quite early for those patients. Cystic fibrosis is a fatal disease that starts in infants and it's a genetic disease. And it's really a combination of inflammation, bacterial infection, and an overactive immune system that drives this inflama inflammatory process throughout the life of patients with CF. But one of the difficulties that we found in studying cystic fibrosis and treating cystic fibrosis is that they're not really good animal models, which are the classic way in which we can identify novel therapeutics for, the, for these particular um, diseases. So in our group, the main crux of my research is to find a new platform that we can actually develop and identify novel therapeutics to improve the quality of life for these patients. And in order to do this, what we've developed in the group is what we've called a non-animal-based system that we friendly called CF in a box. And what this utilizes is the ability to take lung cells that we create the lung microenvironment, immune cells from patients and donors, and also airway flowing that combines all of these inflammatory components um, from the diseased lung to recreate this outside of the patient in a very specific way that allows us to fine tune this and test drugs in a disease relevant environment without using, utilizing animals. And this is a very key, important um, development in the field because doing my work, it's allowed us to screen new drugs, identify new therapeutics, and has improved our ability to treat and impact the quality of life for patients with CF. So if we think again about breathing, we think about how much we do it and how passive we do it, and we think for patients not only with CF and with COPD and other inflammatory lung diseases like asthma, and how each breath is painful and di difficult for them, and we think about how this innovative tool has increased our likelihood and our ability to find novel therapeutics. That is what um, uh, drives our work in our research group and has informed a lot of the work that we've done in this group. So if you think back again, inflammation. I had a really good segue into how it can be bad and be good. In this case, what really drives our work is the ability to find new therapeutics to combat and to slow the progression of inflammation. Thank you. <laughs> 